Some years ago, at a family dinner, my grandmother's behavior provided a moment that was both awkward and deeply emotional. She began flirting with my father, mistaking him for a handsome stranger. While this elicited chuckles around the table, the situation was bittersweet. My father's subtle smile was overshadowed by the profound sadness in his eyes. It had been some years since my grandmother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and she no longer recognized anyone at the table. She saw in my father the image of her late husband, my grandfather, whom she still loved dearly. This incident highlighted the heart-wrenching reality of Alzheimer's disease that robs individuals of their memories, even those most cherished. Approximately 500,000 new cases of Alzheimer's disease are diagnosed in the United States each year. This means that roughly every 65 seconds, someone is starting to forget who the people around them are. Luckily, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And today, I'm bringing you Cassava Sciences, a company that brings hope to end this disease once and for all. In this video, we'll be covering Cassava's product, clinical trial, financial analysis, fundamental analysis, market analysis, and finally, my own opinion. Let's get started. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. It's the most common cause of dementia, a condition characterized by a decline in cognitive function severe enough to interfere with daily life. Alzheimer's disease leads to brain cell damage, resulting in memory loss, confusion, and changes in personality and behavior. Alzheimer's disease affects millions of people worldwide. According to recent estimates, over 50 million people are living with Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia globally, with this number expected to rise as the population ages. Cassava Sciences is dedicated to finding solutions for this devastating disease. They are currently conducting a phase 3 trial for simufilan. Let's delve into how simufilam works and the promising progress we've seen so far. Simufilam works in the brain by targeting a protein called altered filament A, which is abnormal in people with Alzheimer's disease. This abnormal protein disrupts normal brain cell function. Simufilam helps to correct the shape of this protein, restoring its normal function. This action can reduce brain inflammation, improve communication between brain cells, and slow down cognitive decline, helping patients maintain their memory and thinking skills for a longer period. Cassava Sciences announced that their drug Simufilam slowed cognitive decline by 38% in patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease compared to a placebo over a six-month period. This finding comes from their phase two study, the Cognition Maintenance Study or CMS. Patients initially took Simufilam for 12 months before being randomly assigned to either continue the drug or switch to a placebo for six months. Those on Simufilam showed less cognitive decline than those on the placebo, suggesting a beneficial effect of the drug. Over 1,900 patients with Alzheimer's are participating in these studies. The studies are split in two groups. The first group has around 1,100 patients, while the other has the rest 800 patients. Patients are randomly assigned to either take simufilam or placebo, of course, without knowing which one they're taking. One study lasts for 52 weeks or a year, and the other lasts for 76 weeks, about one year and a half. These studies are happening in various countries, including the USA, Canada, Puerto Rico, Australia, and South Korea. The results of the 50-week study are expected around the end of 2024, while the results of the 76-week study are expected around mid-2025. Switching gears to financials, Cassava Sciences' net income for the first quarter of 2024, amounting to 25 million, primarily stems from a non-cash gain related to the change in the fair value of warrant life Liabilities. In other words, this profit mainly came from a paper gain, not from actual sales or revenue. Specifically, it was due to a change in the estimated value of their financial obligations related to warrants. Warrants are financial instruments that give someone the right to buy the company's stock at a specific price. When the value of these warrants changes, it can impact the company's reported income, even if no actual money is exchanged. This change in value is called a non-cash gain because it doesn't involve cash transactions transactions, but rather adjustments on paper. The company's financial position as of the end of the first quarter of 2024 shows that they have 124.17 million in cash and cash equivalents with zero debt on their balance sheet. Additionally, there are no capital leases reported, meaning they do not have long-term lease obligations that would be considered debt under accounting standards. You might ask yourself, if they have no earnings 
space as they have no sales yet and no debt. How are they financing their research and operations? Let me introduce you to the investor's enemy number one, dilution. During the first quarter of 2024, Cassava Sciences experienced an increase in its shares outstanding. The number of shares rose to 47.98 million shares, which represents a 4.52% increase from the previous quarter, Q4 of 2023. This increase is primarily due to the exercise of warrants distributed as dividends to shareholders. These warrants allowed holders to purchase additional shares of common stock at a set price, which contributed to the dilution. By creating additional shares and selling them, the companies get access to more cash without getting into debt. But this hurts us, the investors, as our shares own a smaller piece of the company. The research and development expenses were 16.2 million. This represents a decrease from 22.1 million for the same period in 2023. The reduction in research and development expenses was primarily due to the completion of patient screening and enrollment for the company's phase three clinical program in the fall of 2023. Administrative expenses amounted to 3.7 million down from 4.4 million in the first quarter of 2023. The total operating expenses for the quarter were 19.9 million compared to 26.5 million from the same period in 2023. This is good news as cassava is operating in an efficient manner the current cash balance assures that cassava can continue its research and current cash burnout for at least two more years without getting into debt or high levels of shares dilution as of the end of the first quarter of 2024 cassava sciences has 29 employees this number has remained stable over the past few periods or quarters with no significant increase or decrease reported recently this stability in employee count reflects the company's consistent focus on its clinical and administrative operations without significant expansion or reduction in its workforce. In recent months, there has been significant insider trading activity at Cassava Sciences. Notably, several insiders have made substantial purchases. These purchases indicate a positive sentiment among the company's insiders regarding the future prospects of Cassava Sciences. Overall, corporate insiders have bought shares worth 8.2 million in the last three months. Before we continue to the last section of this video, I would like to remind everyone that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and I promise, I promise I will always bring you the best content that you deserve. Let's continue. Simofilam is not the only fish in the pond. Other pharmaceutical companies already have drugs on the market, like Lecanema from ACA and Biogen, which was FDA approved in 2023. Eli Lilly's drugs, Donanimab and Rimternetug have shown promising phase two results and are in phase three trials. Focusing on early symptomatic Alzheimer's, demonstrating demonstrating a 32% slowdown in cognitive decline. Their side effects are similar to lecanemab, with REE causing brain swelling that can be asymptomatic or present symptoms like headaches, confusion, and visual disturbances, and area age, involving small brain bleeds or micro bleedings that may or may not be symptomatic. The silver lining here, and what can make a big difference, is the effects of simufila, as area E and area H are dangerous side effects associated with some of the other treatments. The side effects associated with simufila are changes in liver enzymes and some respiratory infections, which are mild compared to the other two drugs. Cassava Sciences is currently trading above its cash value per share. The current stock price of $21.72 is significantly higher than the cash per share value of $2. $2.59. This indicates that the market valuation includes expectations of future potential beyond just the company's cash holdings, reflecting investors' confidence in its ongoing and future clinical trials for Alzheimer's disease. At this moment in time, I give Cassava Sciences a rate of C-. But wait, let me explain why. Cassava is likely to experience further dilution as it pushes to bring its drug to the finish line, which is projected to be around mid-2026. Currently, the stock is overvalued inflated by expectations that the drug will be a blockbuster and revolutionary, despite the presence of 
ASI and Biogen similar efficacy drug already on the market. On the positive side, simufilam boasts few side effects and there has been notable insider trading activity, which can be seen as a vote of confidence from those within the company. Personally, I would love to see this drug reach approval, but it's still too early for me to invest here. The high valuation multiples coupled with the significant risks that remain make me hesitant to enter at this stage. Additionally, the competitive landscape and the financial implications of ongoing development and potential dilution add layers of uncertainty that need careful consideration. I will keep this company on my watch list and look forward to enter at a later stage, sometime before the potential FDA approval date. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure.